Hi Leo, this is Power and Light Tarot coming at you with your love reading. This is what are their true intentions in love with you. And uh, your reading is here, the first half, okay? And I uh, hope you guys are all well here. And it is the end of December, so this should be uh, spot on, I'd say, okay? <laughs> Sorry, too many internet issues over here. Uh, trying to upload these videos, guys. So don't forget your moon and your rising videos, all right? You can get your chart at cafeastrology.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, sending you guys a lot of love, okay, um, in these readings, all right? And I'm going to be going over to Vimeo later on with the to continue the reading, and we're going to be talking about the challenge and the potential here between you and your person, and also what they are really intending to do, okay? So let's get started here, Leo. The bottom of the deck was the Fool and the Page of Swords. So um, I feel like, you know, somebody is getting the gall or the nerve to go out on their own, all right, uh, with the Fool card. And, you know, for a new start here, the Page of Swords is here. So, you know, that can talk about so many different things. But let's get into the reading here. And um, we're going to find out, you know, how the Page of Swords is tying in here, right? The... King of Wands is showing up as your current energy. This is you showing up in your reading, uh, Leo. Showing up as the King of Wands, right on, okay? The badass that you are, okay? So, and your past energy is the Ace of Pentacles. The uh, You're seeing your partner, sorry, as the Nine of Pentacles, all right? Their current energy is the Six of Swords. Their past energy is the Queen of Wands. And they're seeing you as the Ten of Wands, carrying a burden here. And the, ch the situation between you two is a Chariot card, okay? So the cards are clarified here, Leo. And, excuse me, um, your current energy is the King of Wands with the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Wands here. I feel like your current energy is you're leaving somebody out in the cold. Somebody that you are either married to or in a, you know... A serious commitment they could be leaving you out in the cold as well but we're going to see as we continue with the reading your past energy you had two aces uh together here so you know i feel like your past energy you were you know your cup was full of love here overflowing and there was stability with the ace of pentacles okay this could have been an opportunity for these things too it couldn't, you know, it's, 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 this depends here. There could have been an opportunity for the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles here, which is, you know, uh, a new beginning or a situation where there is so much love and stability, okay? Now, you're seeing them as the Nine of Pentacles with the Five of Cups here. You're seeing them as being single but sad, okay? So they might have screwed up here, okay? Um, right? Because usually the Nine of Pentacles, you know, is the card of happy and abundant and single. But it's followed up here with the Five of Cups here. I feel like they are out on their own and now, right? But they're feeling sad about a breakup possibly here. Their next, uh, and so this is how you're seeing them. Their current energy is the Six of Swords with the Seven of Wands and the Nine of Wands. You know, they're moving on. They are moving on uh, to calmer waters. This doesn't always have to be moving out of a relationship. Sometimes it could mean just, you know, mentally moving out of turmoil and fighting, that type of situation. But um, they do have the Six of Swords. They're in their boat, you know, their mental boat over here. And they're moving forward here. Um, I feel like they had to fight for themselves or they're feeling that way. They could also be defend or resisting, resisting a situation. And this is why they are moving forward as the Six of Swords away from the turmoil here, okay? Um, they could be resisting you, it's possible, because the Knight of Wands is here, uh, Leo, and you are, you know, the Wands, right? You're the King of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and you could be the Queen of Wands as well, right? And we do have the Queen of Wands over here. So, you know, they're moving on. They're either resisting something and try, trying to resist something here. And this is why they are moving forward away from the turmoil. Or they're just defending themselves, right? And so they're like, to hell with this. I'm going to defend myself and move forward. This is their current energy, okay? Um, but again, they might just be resisting something, okay? So let's see as we get, as we go on and we're going to find out here. 
their past energy, Leo, is the Queen of Wands. You know, you could be showing up in their past energy uh, because this is so, you know, compelling or heavy. A situation could be really heavy. Um, also, they could be a fire sign. It's the possibility right here, right? Because in their current energy, the Knight of Wands is here. Their past energy is the Queen of Wands. So you could be dealing with another fire sign, Leo, uh, Aries, or Sag, Leo. Um, but their past energy, you know, the Eight of Pentacles is in the reverse with the Ten of Swords, the Betrayal card or the Backstabbing card here with the Two of Pentacles. I feel like in the past they didn't want to put in the work because of betrayal and because somebody was juggling. Okay, that's, that's a definite here. Um, you know... They could have. They could be feeling that you were doing the betrayal here. Uh, it all depends. Um, but I feel like they are the ones, you know, who have done some betrayal or some backstabbing here. Okay, because you're seeing them very sad over here. Now, they're viewing you as the Ten of Wands, the Star card, and the Hierophant. You know, they they feel like you're, you know, you're carrying a burden. They do see you like that. Um, and they see you as their partner here, their love partner, the Hierophant, right? The, you know, marriage card, okay? They're seeing you that way. They could be seeing you as carrying a burden, though, within the commitment here, um, within a marriage or a commitment here. The star card is here with it. There could also be an Aquarian or a Taurian in the mix here, but I feel like really what's happening is that they're seeing you as carrying a burden here, um, and that you possibly uh, wear their star, all right, with the star card here. I feel like their dream come true has become a burden here. Um, your dream come true has become a burden, rather. And this is how they're seeing you, okay? Um, they could also be seeing you as having, you know, carrying a burden that there's not a lot of hope here, all right? They could also be seeing you as healing and carrying a burden at the same time, all right? Um, however, it resonates with, you know, uh, the different groups of Leos that are out there, okay, Leo? Now, the situation between you guys is the Chariot and the Six of Wands here. So somebody's overcoming a situation, and they're, they're taking control of their life, okay? They are. They're moving forward successfully after struggles. That's what the Chariot card is here. Um, there could also be a Cancerian here. Again, I feel like this is just the energy that between you guys, somebody is overcoming a situation and moving forward with their life victoriously, okay? So we're going to find out lots more, Leo, in the extended, uh, the challenge here between you guys um, and, you know, what they're hiding and their true intentions with you on Vimeo, okay? The link is below, Leo, and, um, yeah, we'll see you over there, honey.